Hi there, yeah, so uh, while the lads are busy in the yard, I just thought I'd bob on and uh, I just wanted to touch on uh, something another YouTuber was talking about last week, Chris from Heavy Trade, in fact, they've got a fantastic YouTube channel, he's literally come out of nowhere storming it, fantastic content, so if you haven't seen them, check them out, Heavy Trade. But yeah, he were, he were talking about a friend of his, and again, the building trade, were thinking of packing it in, he'd had enough, this, that, and the other. And I actually commented on his video to say, basically, well done for giving his mate advice and help, because I think as business owners, we've all been there at some point or another, where you just feel low and you think, what is the point of this, you know? You know, you can't get paid, there's problems on site, lads are blobbing, this, that, and the other. So, you know, it's always, what is it, one forward, two back, and it, it, sometimes you're going round in circle, banging your head against the wall, but I think as Chris pointed out on, on this video, you've just got to keep with it, keep plodding away, day by day, and, and, and you will sort of make a breakthrough, you know, it's, but it ain't easy, building game in general is not easy, there's always somebody trying to have your pants down, you got to have your wits about you, and I think the more experience you get, you know, you sort of, look out for these telltale signs, warnings, you know, is it going to be a nightmare customer? Is this site suitable for us? You know, and I think once you get a bit more established, you, I wouldn't say you can pick and choose, but you know where your bread's buttered, so you know where your, you know, your, your best paying clients live, you know, your marketing sort of geared towards that. Um, I mean, Techles, for example, fencing contractors, years ago, I used to do fencing for literally anybody, builders, contractors, anybody. And I generally find the most problems I get is working through other yeah. contractors. You know, they want you there like yesterday. You get there, you can't do it for one reason or another. It's not your fault, there'll be 30 ton pile of muck in your way where they expect you to put a fence or you can't get van anywhere near it. There's always something with site work, it's a nightmare. So we don't do a lot of that type of stuff anymore um, for, for ov obvious reasons that and the other one is like I said they want you there yesterday and then once you've done the job <laughs> it's like the ghost you they don't want to pay you, you, you oh, it's a nightmare sorry I just interrupted one of the lads came and then so yeah where were I so yeah as I was saying that you know they want you there yesterday and once you've done the job they, they, they mess about that much um, they don't want to pay you um, you know even though you have your terms this and the other and it, you know and, and all that nonsense where they try to take retention and main contractor discount whatever else nonsense it's like something from 1980s but we, we don't play them games anymore it's like you know these are our terms you, you know you either want it or you don't if not i'm sure there's some other mug down the road that'll that'll work for them turns so we, we we've niched down a lot these days and we do a lot for schools and stuff like that which we don't mind oh yeah you have to wait for your money still but but you know it's nailed on with schools you know because they've got to have the money set aside when they give somebody a purchase order whereas you'll generally find i mean i'm not saying all contractors don't get me wrong some we still work with they're fantastic pay us straight away you know some even pay us literally the same date next day you know you can't beat them types of clients so we work close hand in hand with them you know and we go out of his way we help them they, you know they help us by paying us basically uh, which they should do anyway but you know what i mean um but so we're always very wary with new clients especially sort of contractors um main contractors um because we just find they're an absolute nightmare so yeah i just wanted to jump on and touch that from following on from what what chris said and basically my point is keep at it because uh hopefully you'll get there in the end <laughs> 